And hello, my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be going over the mystery of gold chrome. No one really makes one except I think I tested Moto a couple years ago, but it's impossible to get and not cheap at all. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own as best as we can. As best as we can. We're going to make it look as good as we can. But uh, I think I got the, the secret to it. Now, um, a lot of people ask, and the green stuff world that recently came out said chrome, but no matter what I did, other than hand brushing it in small amounts, I got the shine. This is how it came out. While not bad, it looks like a plating. That's it over a different base right there. Then I just poured it right into this plastic, uh, black plastic plate. And that's what I got. But I still, I'm not getting that, you're not getting that sheen you want, that glow of chrome, you know. We're not getting that effect. So, uh, here is the secret to it. Most guys will say use a clear yellow over a silver or chrome base, candy. But you end up really with more, and your mind's telling you it's yellow. But the secret to it all is one color. And it's clear brown. Um, clear brown in and of itself, which I sprayed, I'll show you in a second. You know, it, it's what you think it is. It actually comes out looking like a brass. It's really nice. It's one of my favorites. I did a video a couple years ago, beginning of the channel. Um, let's spray clear brown and see what it looks like. I think that's what I called it. And it's a really nice color. But uh, what you got to do is you got to get your combos of clear brown and clear yellow and mix them together. And that's where we're going to get our golden color. That's the secret. Now, not everybody makes a clear brown, but enough people do. Um, I happen to have most, for some reason... I don't know where my clear yellow is from Gaia, but I'm going to order some. But I had the clear brown. I put it out here to show you that they make both. SMS makes both, clear brown and clear yellow. Of course, Mr. Color. Mr. Color Clear GX 109 is clear brown. This is part of their regular lineup, clear yellow. I don't have the GX clear yellow. I don't know why. I have clear gold, but it doesn't. This ends up looking like yellow, and uh, not a good effect, but I wanted to show you not to go with that, to stick with these two colors. And Jump Win, one of my new favorites to come along in a while. Jump Win, clear yellow, clear brown. And um, that's it. We're going to mix the two, almost at a 50-50. You're going to think, wait a minute, the brown's going to overtake it all, but it doesn't. And uh, I'm just going to go right ahead and show you guys... Uh, the result, what I came up with, we're going to spray it, but I'm going to show you the result over various bases. Now, um, I recommend a 50-50 mix, then we're going to thin it, again, 50-50 with the thinner. And I'm going to spray it over uh, a, a chrome. You need a chrome base. So I'm, I'm, I've sprayed behind the scenes every chrome base that I have um, that would work. I sprayed it on certain ones that wouldn't work at all, but most of the time it worked. You know, the all clads and uh, all of them. The Duralumin and the SMS Chrome. I, I sprayed it over all of them. So I'm going to show you the results at the end here. And uh, you go from there. And um, I think you're going to be happy with the results. Now let me uh, pause this camera. Let me get out everything we need to mix. I'm going to show you. We're going to mix it. We're going to spray it over. I'll spray it over a couple of uh, bases. But I'm going to show you the results on all of them at the end of the video. So let me go ahead and pause this camera. Get everything I need to mix this up. And uh, let's get started. All right, guys, here we are. I paused it, got everything I needed. Not that much, but uh, well, we used the jump winds. These are all going to look the same uh, to a certain extent, but um, I'll just use the jump wind for the test for now. And uh, whatever's easiest for you guys to get, make sure you just get a combo of them, either the two Gaia, the two SMS, Mr. Color, or the jump wind. Um, but make sure you get your clear brown with your clear yellow. So we're just going to go 50-50. I already, uh, oh, when you when you use jump win, let me see. I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to tip this a little bit. There we go. All right, when you use jump win, they have these little caps, just like Gaia does. Um, don't put them down on your bench this way. Then the paint runs, you know, and uh, you end up losing the seal. Put it straight down. Just take out a... Uh, paper towel and go with that root. I've already shaken it, so let me grab my coffee stirrer here. Alright, and we're going to go. 
All right, see, it's pretty well mixed up. All right, put the old stick. All right, now you need a second paper towel. You gotta keep the you gotta keep the jar here clean, clean. That's how you keep your paint lasting a long time. You gotta wipe off the threads there. Put that on good. All right, there we go. You see that? We just covered the bottom. Now we're gonna go in with the brown. Same amount. Put that straight down as I just showed. All right, let me grab my stirrer. Here we go. You can eyeball this. You can get it as light and dark as you want. Of course, depending on what kit you want and what what uh, well, what shade you're looking for, you know. But you can just pour in the same amount. It looks like it's uh, too much. It really isn't. It, it comes out beautifully. There we go. Mix. You're going to see it's going to kind of look a little uh, green. It's going to have a little green tint to it. Which is good, because uh, that's what um, gold actually has, a greenish tint to it. And there you go. Now it looks brown. It's not. You can still see yellow through it. See it? So it still looks yellow right here. That's what you're looking for. That's it. 50-50 on the mix. Oh, let me get this out of here. Hold on, guys. Clean off the threads again. I'm not crazy about the caps on Gaia, but this one I don't mind. It's got this little hook. You put your thumb in, they come out. Guy end up needing a razor blade or a plier to get that thing out. And uh, there we go. Now you can use your leveling thinner. I use it for everything. I had this sitting here all this time, and I said, yeah, let me use the old jump wind leveling thinner, even though it's probably the same thing. And we're going to thin it 50-50, so just load it right up. It's a lack. You don't have to worry about it. It is a clear. You don't want to go... You know, 30 parts paint to 60, you know, 3 to 6. That might be a little too thin, but you can you can thin this out. And that's it. This will be our gold chrome look. All right, that's the secret. It is the brown. Now I'm going to spray it over a bunch. Uh, I already have prepped uh, a bunch of spoons. This one is what? HMS. This is uh, Hyperchrome from SMS. Um, behind the scenes, this turned out to be one of my favorites uh, of all of them. But I'm going to show you all of them in the end, um, the results for all of them. But for now, let's go spray this. I'm going to go ahead and use my Patriot Extreme, Extreme Patriot. Um, I'm up to about 20 airbrushes here. <laughs> I use the gallery behind the scene, which is really great. I've used the Grex behind the scene. And the, uh, the gallery, the trigger one, the regular gallery, the ace, fantastic stuff. But uh, I'm trying to rotate these around, so I have like 20 airbrushes. So I went, let me go back. I haven't used my uh, Patriot Extreme in a while, Extreme Patriot. So we'll use that for this. It doesn't matter. You can use any one. 0.3 millimeters is a good needle for this. And uh, we're going to go coat it on like we're doing candy colors. Let's head over to the booth. We'll start with this. And as I said, don't worry if I don't show you me spraying them. I sprayed every one here. And I'll show you the results right after this. So let me meet you at my Pace Spray Booth, and let's get going. All right, here we are at the Pace Spray Booth. It's going to be going over SMS Hyperchrome Cold Tone. I am going to do it over uh, the dark uh, all clad. So uh, we'll see what it looks like with a darker chrome. But this is the Cold Tone, your standard chrome. Um, one of my favorite recent releases for chrome. Let's see what we got. Okay, we're going to go across, hit it lightly, just like uh, I show in how I paint to get a smooth coating. I'm going to go across quick. You can see already it's that gold tone that we're looking for. Isn't that beautiful? So now we're going to go in a little closer and a little slower. Oh, look at that. Check this out. Right, look at that. Again, I, I tested all of them. This is my favorite. I figured I'd show this one going on right away on the on the uh, video. We'll go over it at the bench, but uh, gold chrome, as good as we can for now, anyway. And this is going to be really durable because this is just a beautiful lacquer paint. 
um, which is durable to start with. But anyway, uh, let me grab something else. We'll put we'll spray it over something else. All right, here we go. All clad. Your standard chrome. Oh. Here we go. Try to keep the air compressor from coming on all the time. That's why I stop and start. I get that question a lot, and I've gotten so used to it. I don't have a means to get the compressor in another room. You know, that's ideal. So you should leave your finger down and then just move across to get your paint. But uh, after doing what I've been doing for so long, I've gotten used to stopping. But as long as you stop off the piece, and um, if you're doing a big project, you're going to have to clean the needle if you're using an acrylic. But I'm going off on a side tangent because uh, acrylics dry really quick on the, on the needle, but lacquers don't seem to. All right, that's over all clad. All right, let me grab another one. All right, this is Gaia Premium Mirror Chrome. Gaia Notes. Not cheap. Uh, but it works. Looks great. Look at that. I did a video on this a year or two ago. And uh, good stuff. Here we go. Oh, ran out. Let's fill her up. I made a bunch, so. Here we go. Already filled up. Look at that. Keep the airbrush holder right next to me attached to the booth all right here we go oh this looks good this has a good look to it all right that looks good Small layers will get it darker. Might not get as reflective, but you're going to get a deeper tone for sure. Um, all right, let's head back to the bench. I'll show you all the ones I sprayed so you guys can see uh, what it looks like on different bases. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. I'll meet you back at the bench. All right, guys, here we are at the bench. Let's go over the results. I'm going to start with my favorite, and that is the one we showed first. Hyperchrome Cold Tone from SMS as the base. Here it was. Uh, sprayed on and here are the results and um, quite nice uh, I got it a little bit lighter here see it I went a little heavy here and a little lighter here and then here it is over the chrome I actually sprayed the chrome over white instead of over black and then I sprayed this on top of that and that's what I got with that check that out so that's a heavy over this a black spoon I mean black black base chrome than this then a lighter coat here and then the chrome sprayed straight over white as a base a gloss white base instead of black and that's what we got all right beautiful look at that this is good as it's going to get I think for now to get this gold done I'm going to try tinting my chrome but I know when I've tried tinting chromes it just loses it. It ends up looking like uh, anodized or plating. It doesn't look the same. So well, going on top right now is the way to go. So let me grab another color. All right, next up is Duralumin. Oh, Dur where are we? I lost it. Duralumin Chrome. This is only sold on Etsy, I believe, is where I got that. Gigantic bottle. And uh, there you go. Again, over the white. Chrome sprayed over white, chrome sprayed over black. I'll show you what I, with the white what I mean. So yeah, you take the straight out of the bottle and spray it over a white spoon. Well, and you need a white shiny base. The, these spoons happen to be shiny, but uh, if you need to put a white glossy base down, do that as if you're doing the black. But that's what this is. So you're going to get two different tones right there. But good, good results. Yep. A little different from the SMS, but close. I like it. I like it quite a bit. 
So that's that one. Let me grab another color. All right, might as well show you the failures. One of my favorite chromes of all time, this green stuff world. It just goes on awesome. But it didn't like it. It reacted to it. This is an alcohol base. Most of the others are lacquer based. And uh, that's what we ended up with. Huge difference. So it did not like the alcohol based. So that's forget I show you the failure. Don't put it over green stuff. Now, um, I don't have their clear yellow or clear brown. I don't know if they make it to match it up. Or maybe put an acrylic of the two over it. I don't have many acrylic clears, let alone clear brown. I have to see who makes one. That'll be my next test. I'm going to have to see in acrylic uh, clears if they make a clear brown and yellow. I'll, I'll mix that and try it over certain types of paints like this, which was a fail. But uh, might as well show you the failures also. Here is all clad black chrome. It's a little darker than the other chromes. I'll even show you. See the difference? And there you go. Now, let me show it to you with the regular all clad. Let me grab that. It's right behind me. Oh, it's right behind me. Hold on. I think it's close to this, but so you can see the difference. But right behind me. Hold on, guys. I'm back. Here is the regular chrome. And here is the dark chrome right here. See the difference? Look at that. A completely different tone altogether. Let's look at it with the SMS. See how the SMS has that beautiful look to it? Even over the white, the SMS just looks great. But yeah, that's black chrome. That's the regular chrome. All right. Let me get these out of the way. One second, guys. All right, here is All Clad's Bright Silver Candy Base. And that didn't come out quite as good. You see too much of the flake. As you can see, it didn't work. Now, I sprayed it over white and got this, which is a little bit nicer. But again, you're not getting this effect. See it? So, I want to try it over that because it's a base made for candy. So, I went ahead and tried it. Didn't work. All right, let me grab another one. Here's the Gaia. Very nice. Look at that. I like how it has that shading look around the edges. Beautiful. Yeah, the Gaia came out good, just like uh, my other favorites here. All right. Let me grab another one. All right. I pulled three of them forward here. E7 S06 Chrome Silver. I got a lot of the E7 paints. I've yet to do a test. Uh, it's coming up very soon. They have two kinds of chrome. One that's not as shiny as this. And uh, you know what? This was the sleeper of the batch. This really came out good. It just reacted well to being covered up and it just it just came out great I, I do like this one e7 chrome base well make sure if you guys order this it's s06 chrome silver I'll show you what the other one looks like hold on guys I'm across the room I'm grabbing paint I should be able to just reach my hand out and grab paint here's their other one see it's different it's a black label and it says shine chrome so you think it's the same but it actually isn't this ended up being the shinier of the two, and uh, it's hard to tell why. But it probably works, looks good with both. This is the one I used for this, and great, great results. All right, this is Rogue, Rough, Rouge, Rough Silver. There we go. This is real gigantic flakes of uh, metal flakes. Look at that. <laughs> it looked like glitter, uh, kid's glitter. Uh, yeah, so I knew that wasn't going to do anything, but it does actually have a look. Almost like a galaxy. If I sprayed dark blue over that, it would look like uh, a space galaxy, right? Like my black and blue paint in my Mecha line. And this is just their standard silver. One of my favorite silvers. This is previous. Oh, previous silver. Number two. This is from the anniversary collection. And that's what we got with that. And that's not bad going over just the silver. Not bad at all. You know, you're not going to get... A beautiful chrome effect you know it's gonna have a whole different look but you know it looked a little better than I thought it looked would, would end up looking but yeah that's a sleeper right there that's a good one all right let me pull this out of the way and show you the one last thing that I did and that was 
I took these aluminum, aluminum sheets from Emil by MIG and uh, I cut out a piece which is right here I taped it to this and check that out I just I just sprayed it let me get this out of the way oh I crinkled it damn it uh, see it and this is a peel and stick so you can actually take this these sheets spray the mixture I showed right here see I kept some here you can pre-mix it too and put it in a jar which is what I'm gonna do with that and then you can just cut this out right just cut it out if you want to put little pieces in certain spots and you get a nice gold chrome look so it'll work on that too and um, yeah that was the last thing I thought of at the very end of the video I, um, I said oh let me paint that those little strips and it worked and you could probably get ones that even look more like chrome they make chrome tape and I have gold chrome tape, which I use in one of my videos, but they make it, you know, regular chrome tape, and you spray this over it, it's going to look awesome. And then you can just peel and stick and put it where you need it. But anyway, guys, that's it. That is my method for getting chrome. The secret sauce is clear brown, not just clear yellow, clear brown. And that gives you this awesome, oops, this awesome goldish tone is what you're looking for. And uh, you can get different tones, but like I said, if you spray the chrome over white versus black, you, uh, you're still going to get that effect. It needs that reflective part of the chrome to come through. Uh, my favorite happened to be the SMS, and uh, this E7 was the sleeper. I think this E7 is really good. Um, might even be better that I'm looking at them, right? This has more of a shadowy look to it, whereas this is more even. You know, not bad. That is really good. And uh, this um, this one from Duralumin from Etsy. I got one more to show you guys. Ooh, a bonus content. I forgot. It's sitting right next to me. This no name from Etsy. I just thought of it when I saw the Etsy name. Uh, I bought this recently. I, I just want to see what no name chrome, how it would look. And uh, that's the no name chrome going on. Not the greatest. But the results, not bad. Check that out. Make sure it's a little banged up, but that's that's me hitting the spoon at the end. So check that out. That here is the SMS. See it? I mean, it's darker, but it looks like it's a darker chrome. I did do a video on it recently. Yeah, much darker chrome. So you're going to get that result. But yeah, no name Etsy chrome. Check this out. And here is the brand name Etsy chrome. Big difference. It's much darker. You know, that's what it looks like over the white. And uh, it's and it, and it came out good. It still came out good over that white, but it still doesn't have that look. Over white, the best one so far, if you want to go over white, is the uh, SMS sprayed over white. That has the best look over white. But yeah, that's the uh, cheapo chrome here. Not cheapo, but not too expensive, but it was no name on Etsy. And I wanted to try that. And uh, yeah, that's that. And uh, there you go. That is it. That's how you get it. Don't forget, get your browns and your yellow together. Be it whatever brand you get. It's also Gaia. It's not there. Like I said, I forgot it. But yeah, get your clear brown. Get your clear yellow. Mix them up. I say 50-50. Go for it. Test it, of course, to get the right tone you're looking for. But uh, for now, that's going to be the best chrome you guys can get. And uh, it's going to be durable on top of it because, you know, these are lacquers. They're really, really tough. And uh, that's not going to be a problem at all. You know, it's almost like sealing in the chrome, you know. But there you go, guys. Put it to the works. Let me know how you make out. You can send me links, send me pictures, email me. Let me know what you spray with the gold chrome. I have a few things planned for this, so uh, you'll see that soon on my channel. Hopefully by spring and summer. I'm going to have a few things sprayed with this, accenting a particular kit. And, um, yeah, there you go. All right, guys. We'll have a few more videos coming up this week. Don't forget, please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you guys know when... Uh, I put up a new video. I try to do two videos a week, and um, so far, so so far, so good. We've been doing well. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more tests personalized, uh, right below you'll see a link to my Patreon. Join that. It's only four bucks a month, and I'll answer your questions directly with chat. And uh, if you need something demoed, I'll spray uh, what you're asking about on video for you, so you can see the results. And it's a more personalized experience over there on Etsy. So that'll be below too. Anyway. Have a re great rest of your weekend, guys. God bless you all. You guys are absolutely the best. Uh, I enjoy uh, your guys' company. 
uh, beyond belief. Uh, you guys are awesome. Anyway, guys, have a great day. I hope this video helps. Take it easy.